Well, I'm only across the road. Okay, you're on there now. That's brilliant. Okay. The technology is working. Yeah, it is. So, would you like to tell us a bit about where you are? Yeah, I'm at Like Minds. Okay. Um, which is very, very close to the Phoenix. Yeah. Um, it's, at, it's at the church on the corner going down towards Cafe 55. Okay. So it's turned into a conference centre for the day, well, today and tomorrow. And um, what's it, uh, what are you discussing at Light Minds? Well, I would say it's digital marketing. I mean, there's all kinds of issues around it, but that's the, that's the basic topic that, that, that it's in common with all of it. Okay. So it's a lot of people. I think it's 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 about eight years they've been having these conferences. Not always in Exeter, but they do tend to come back to Exeter. And uh, it it really just started with digital uh, disruption. Uh, dis- the, the the MC has described himself as a disruptive MC. So I think disruption is one of the big big terms of it. Um, but w- so far today we have we haven't had a lot. Uh, it's fairly commercial, it's fairly straight ahead. We've had um, a criticism of Milton Friedman that a sort of straightforward profit-making approach isn't enough. Who Milton Friedman? He's an economist. Oh. He, he was a big um, big star in the sort of 70s, 80s. Oh, okay. Thatcher and Ronald Reagan, they were big fans. In JD's era... Uh, yeah, well, all, all the sort of, um, yeah, big big shiny suits time of, of uh, oil companies being on the telly as a soap opera. So much, <laughs> all like, of that time. much like JD's era with the big shiny suit and Yeah, 80s, 80s music might fit very well with some of it, I would uh, think. JD, that your music would fit very well with... Who's he called again? Milton Friedman. Milton Friedman. Your music would fit very well with Milton Friedman. But I should say that we, we, he wasn't really... Um, he was, he was criticised. And it was also, it's also been said millennials... Well, they, they seem to be a bit like hippies, to my mind. They're, okay. not, completely, they're not completely into work and uh, success and money. I'll They've let got other, other values. OK, I'll let you have a bit of a conversation with JD. I'll have to pass my headphones over to Oh, right. Him. OK, OK. JD? I can hear him. I can hear him. OK. <laughs> have I got a mic? JD can hear you, and if I give him a mic, he'll be able to talk as well. Good morning, sir. Hello, JD. <laughs> You're not in the studio. Is that normal? No, I'm not normal? in the studio. Did you survive all right? You started the show, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he strolled in, you know, <laughs> using the app, I knew he was here. <laughs> oh right, okay. Yes, we are a very te- technologically advanced show on the Wild Show. Yeah, we find find uh, a friend so we know where we are, uh, and so a, mo- a mobile phone phoning into the studio. This is outside broadcasting. Yeah, uh, so Will phones a bit old school, and it's <laughs> still got buttons. Well, it's still got buttons, Chris, but I've been told the old-fashioned phones are the ones that are actually good for making phone calls. <laughs> the, new, the, new, the new ones um, don't have the aerial in, in any good spot. And Steve Jobs just said um, people hold their phones in the wrong way. Apparently yeah. there's, a, there's an instruction you can get from Apple you, uh, how to hold your phone. Okay, and have the aerial I'll, still work. I'll have to go and ask Apple how I'm holding my phone then. That, that would do it, that would do it. Okay. Chris, can I just say a cu- couple of things before I, before I forget and before I go off and have a coffee? Yeah. <laughs> like, hash like minds, you know, which should find everything. Hash if you do, that. So the hash sign and then like minds, all one word. Yeah. 
Um, try that on Twitter or somewhere. I think some of it is being live streamed. So people will be able to find it quite easily. But also go to Flickr, which is quite an, well, I wouldn't say old fashioned, but well established photo site. I I'm, know I'm, Flickr used to be on my old Nokia that I got rid of a few <laughs> years ago. Yeah, well, Flickr's still going. It's a very good photo site. And that's Doesn't the that one show that... how old Chris is? Well, <laughs> JD, look, just because you and I are getting on a bit and playing music from the last century, I think we should rejoice that uh, Chris is there. And uh, you may be playing a little bit of country now and again, nowadays. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, um, uh, I'll keep taking the medicines. <laughs> OK. Listen, I'm try- trying to make my point. It's flickr.com forward slash photos forward slash like minds. Okay. So if pe- pe- people go there, you will, find, um, you will find some photographs. And the other thing I will mention is that the Echo Dot is, is the prize. If you could remember the company the first speaker was working for, you had a good chance of winning an, an Amazon Echo Dot. So I think we're going to hear more about uh, voice computer interfaces. What was the question, Will? What company did the first speaker work for? So I think there may be a... So I'm going to pay careful attention now to the names of the companies that the speakers are representing. Apple. No, no, the first speaker today was a, a car sharing company. Um, that's what that all I'm, all I'm, you know, you've just got to pay attention to what the speakers are saying because there will be questions later on. Oh, but okay. if you get it right, you might mean you might win an Amazon Echo Dot. Okay. From which I conclude that eventually they will explain why you would be interested. I mean, we know the answer. But there's got to be more about this sort of thing later on. OK. I would imagine. I, I think there's an Alexa speaker this evening. And there's more about artificial intelligence tomorrow. And um, what time does the concert start? Um, I, I'm not sh- Hang on, Chris. You've you're asked me difficult questions now. <laughs> um... Get your phone out. No, this is lunch. Thursday's lunch. Oh. No, the... Oh, no. Hang on, hang on. I think it's about five. Okay. Uh, Thursday morning. Guys, Thursday morning talks, and then it's all kinds of... uh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah, Thursday workshops, that's lunchtime. And then it's going to be Thursday afternoon talks. Oh. Here, I've got, I've got it on, on it. So it's, no, no, that's the, that's different places as well. Well, his, na- his name is Max Amor Deluso. Okay. He is the EU lead evangelist for Alexa. Okay. And he's he's on about um I think it's about five o'clock or six o'clock. And it will be live streamed, I'm pretty sure. Okay. But I'm not sure exactly the time. We've got this wonderful book, which is a very good book. It's got lots of space for making notes. Yeah. But it's sort of broken up into three sections, the timetable for the day, with the speaker biographies in between. And I'm I'm sorry to say I can't find the whole timetable for today. OK. Um, what time will me and JD be seeing you for your lunch? Uh, well, I think... I'm not... Uh, I don't know. I'll find you sometime after 12, Chris. OK, cool. I'm well, not exactly sure, but I'm, I'm definitely going to meet you at Cafe 55 because I think time and space is such that when this when this event is over, there's still going to be, I would think, about half the people here are in Exeter or Devon, and they know where this place is. They know where Cafe 55 is. They know where the Phoenix is. Yeah. The, the Phoenix is official. There's a LinkedIn lunch uh, over lunchtime today, which I've, I've signed up for. But my idea is to be in Cafe 55 
and at the Phoenix over the lunchtime bit and get back here in certainly in time, you know, as I'm supposed to. And then just see what else we can do with this over over the next few months. Until the, I, I think it'll be another like mind in about a year's time. Okay. But, but we can discuss how it relates to radio. Because I still I still think that Alexa is a form of radio. I, I mean, you know you know this, Chris, because you've you've actually got one. You've been using this technology for a long time. Uh, um, not a long time, about a year, but yeah. Well, what do you, what I mean? How do you do you see a link with radio? Do you use Alexa instead of a radio? Um, I have on the stations you can't find you might be able to find them on your Alexa and so you, sorry for triggering everyone's Alexa <laughs> <laughs> oh, ok but how, do you think Alexa is going to get more interactive Offer, offer more choices of what, what you can do with it? Uh, well, you, I think as time evolves, things will change and you'll be able to do more, yes. So do you think as a radio show we should... Um, well, I think we should have a look at it anyway, but... What, what we, I, I just... My, my, my idea is just, just to try and keep up with what's going on and see where, where it could go because uh, we've, we've got masses of stuff uh, how many how many MP3 well JD knows the answer to this we've got about 8 years of uh, MP3 so we could somebody, a, a computer could analyse it somehow what yeah. they then do with it I don't know so JD have we got 8 years worth of MP3s what, this show? Yeah. We have, yes. Okay, JD's confirmed we do. So, if we, if we, if we got a big data operation to analyse it all, um, I don't know, I think people could just talk to Alexa and get, a, get their own subset of it, or their own version of it, for however long they wanted to listen. Um, yeah. And that might work just as well. I mean, it puts puts presenters out of the job, but we would have to be sampled before it could all work. So we could probably insist on our rights. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. And um, I don't know, how long do people listen to the radio? Do, I guess about 20 minutes at a time. So each and every one of them can have the best 20 minutes from the last eight years. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Alexa will sort it all out. Well, she, you're giving Alexa lots of jobs then. <laughs> well, I'll just sort of work it out what, what, what I might learn over the next two days at uh, Light Minds. Okay. If you, if you just sort of state what you'd be interested in, somebody might say, oh yes, that's already been done. You need the blah, 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 blah application. <laughs> yeah, uh, blah, blah, blah <laughs> application. Uh, we need a, so, a definition so, of that, please. <laughs> so could, <laughs> you, could, you find, could you find a song about radio blah, 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 blah. I can find Radio Gaga. <laughs> well, that's pretty close. OK. I'll, I'll accept that one. OK. <laughs> So well, look, I've got, just got to find it for Will. Yeah, if you would. It's not, a, it's not, a, not an urgent thing, sometime today. Uh, but I think I've no, got... I've got a, it will be played in a minute. OK, I'm going to go now. I'm going to try and get a coffee before the next load of talks. OK, see but you thank, soon, Will. OK, bye for now. Bye, bye. JD. Bye. Bye. Bye.